Hi, people. It's Monday, and I'm going to try a little bit of something different today. Uh, first off, we're going to start with the fact of um, this evening. I uh, probably am going to be live streaming for Extra Life, um, which is charity that I am a part of, if you're not aware. It's a Children's Miracle Network charity and all the money that you donate goes to the uh, well for me it will go to the Akron's Children's Miracle Network Hospital that's close to me any amount would be helpful and much appreciated so I appreciate and thank anybody who's at least nice enough to go look up me on the site even if you don't donate uh but I'm going to live stream tonight for that, probably. On top of that, most likely going to live stream myself cutting my hair. Um, it's really time I need to shave and I need a haircut again before winter comes in full spread because it's going to be cold as shit and I don't want to have this long of a beard now because by the end of winter it's going to be like this fucking big um but yeah so probably tonight we'll I'll live stream myself cutting my hair I know it's strange a lot of people find it more strange than most but it, you know it's one of those things where we've always live streamed me cutting my own hair so it's like why not if you want to join in come right along um but then also on top of that, I want to try doing this thing. I'm probably going to just call it like the denture experience. And uh, pretty much I just would like everybody to, in the comments below, you know, it doesn't have to be on this video. It could be on any, any video really, period, if you decide not to do it on this one. But just in general, uh... Uh, just kind of like a name, you know, this is stuff that would be nice for you to put into the comment section. Uh, give a name that you are known by, so it doesn't have to be your name name, it can be a nickname, it can be your YouTube channel name if that's what you want people to call you. Just give a name that people could call you by. Um, write how long you've had dentures for, and uh... And then also, um, you know, explain, it doesn't have to be, you know, I'm not asking for a 10 page essay, you know, in a paragraph or less is fine, but you know, just kind of explain what dentures have been like for you and, you know, maybe one or two things that you learned while having dentures for the good and one or two things maybe you've learned for the better or for the worse, um, and yeah and then at the bottom after all that if you say you have some questions that either you yourself want to ask me or you just want to ask people in general you could also put that at the bottom and then what i'd like to do is i'd like to go through and you know make a video where i go through and i talk about every single one go through say this is this person this is what they dealt with you know or this is, um, in the paragraph, you could also explain maybe the reason why you're getting dentures or why you got dentures. You know, if they're drug-related, obviously I understand a lot of people don't want to sit here and preach to people that they did drugs if it ruined their teeth and they're past that. But, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, honesty is everything. So, if you want to be completely honest, I'd appreciate it. But, if drugs were the case or, you know, whatever be the case, like mine was just plain sugar and no brushing teeth if you don't brush your teeth and you eat a lot of sugar your teeth right out of your mouth that kind of fucking happens so let's put that information down below then i can go through and make a video afterwards kind of like going through explaining um what like everybody's experiences and on top of that then what i'd like to do is you know it doesn't have to be like a skype thing we don't have to talk face to face we can just talk over like a 
like an aim based, you know, like a I type and then you type and then I type and then you type back and forth kind of situation. But like to get maybe in contact with some of these people that leave these comments and get talk with you a little bit about your experience, maybe answer some questions if you have any, and uh, so on and so forth. Just pretty much add that little section then to the video as well, just so people of the channel can fully understand the grasp of the situation that everybody is dealing with. Because whereas my denture situation went extremely easy and really nice and smoothly, when I got my dentures and everything healed right and, you know, everything worked the way it was supposed to, a lot of you know that is not the way it works. And it's hard for me to sit here and explain things to people of what could have happened when it didn't happen for me compared to if I had somebody else out there that maybe watches my videos and enjoys the information I provide for you, but maybe you're out there going through a really rough time. It'd be really cool for you to leave the information below that I just asked for so that way... I can bring it up into my video and be like, look, this person, they're having issues with this. And so I'd like to sit down and talk about this. And maybe then not only can I help you, we can, you and I can then help other people who come view the video into the future. If you understand what I'm saying, that'd be awesome. Um, feedback. Feedback is always an amazing thing. I can learn a lot from your feedback, and you can learn a lot from my feedback. So we might as well help each other out, right? So don't forget, leave the information below in this video on the comments below, or it can be on any video. I don't really care, but being as you'd have to watch this video to know that you could post this on any video kind of thing, that would be probably just smarter for you just to post it below. Don't forget about Extra Life Charity Stream tonight, and maybe, maybe possibly watch me cut my hair if you're into that. Anyways, I'm going to go, guys. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. I burped. I apologize. If you're new to the channel, you subscribe to keep up with my face. And if you're already part of the channel, you could share the video and show other people how white this window is. And then my face. And then the window. And then my face. And the window. And then my face. I'm going to go. Almost done with smoke break. I'm getting sick. I got a really sore throat. Which is just great for talking and all that fun stuff. So, and smoking cigarette doesn't help either. And a little bit add on to the end here just because I did talk about it yesterday in yesterday's video. And some people did ask a question about it. Yes, if you are receiving less money from YouTube than you have been normally in the past on your videos. Or maybe you're getting videos that are being flagged but you have no idea why they're being flagged. If you smoke a cigarette in your video, it now flags the cigarettes and it will not give you money for any video that has cigarette. You can't curse anymore. You can't, uh, it can't have suggestive stuff in it. It can't, it can't be a disagreement either, people. So say for instance, like this, this Las Vegas thing that just happened on sun, this last Sunday, which, or two Sundays ago, which was horrible and sad, obviously. If you posted a video about that, saying your opinion, if you thought it was bad or you thought it was good, which hopefully no one out there thought it was good, but, you know, because you posted your opinion saying that it was bad, they won't put money on that video either because they also will no longer put ads on videos that are um, a debatable discussion. So that way... If your video is saying, hey, like Google's like, hey, look, we'll put this ad, a McDonald's ad on this guy, and this guy supports Donald Trump. Let's just go with that because that's a huge thing everybody disagrees on. The, this guy supports Donald Trump, and he makes videos about how he loves Donald Trump. And so McDonald's is, you know, if we've been using McDonald's ads on his videos, blah, blah, blah. And then this person over here who was a, um, a Hillary Clinton fan, you know, and they hate Donald Trump, and they make videos about how much they hate Donald Trump and how much they love Hillary, and say Burger King does theirs instead of McDonald's. It, it's to the point so that person couldn't sit there, the Hillary fan couldn't sit there and be like, fucking McDonald's supports Donald Trump. See, and that's what they're trying to stop. You know, they're trying to get the, the, the brands are trying to get people to stop from thinking that just because they're putting their ads on a video that they support that content 
So now they're making YouTube change all of their, um, you know, things. So pretty much if you don't meet this criteria, we won't put ads on your videos, meaning if you're violence or drugs or, you know, cigarettes and cursing and all this other stuff. So pretty much even though I haven't been putting ads on my videos for a while because of this whole disagreement we've all been having with YouTube for the last little while, um... I don't plan on putting them back up anyways, uh, but it's just more funny now to think that, oh, okay, so finally, after just dicking us over for, you know, two years, you finally now release an informational list as to what could make my video fail, but, you know, years ago, you didn't give me anything like that, so, I'm gonna go, guys, it's been 11 minutes, and it's rainy as shit in Ohio. It's gloomy outside, but I'm trying to keep a smile on my face. How about everybody out there has themselves a fantastical day? I love you all with the, my biggest my heart.